Guess who's back? Back again. I am back. With no friends. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's me! I have friends, they're just not with me today. Um, what's up? Terrible Vapor. And I'm going to be trying something new to keep my motivation going with this. And to keep... Just keep with this channel. I, I'm having motivation issues among other things. Busy things, yada, 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 yada. Terrible, you're only 20. Why do you have so many... Why are you always so busy? Because college sucks, and so does working. But that's life, right? Um, I'm actually going to work up right now. Let's see, today is Saturday. So I'm going to try and deem every Friday night dash Saturday afternoon dash whenever that drone time frame to be what I'm going to call Vape Day. And I'm going to be—I'm try shooting all of my reviews either Friday night when I get home from work at about 11-ish. Um, I step pretty late. At about 11 or Saturday throughout the day. Um, so yeah, this is my test run of this. We'll see how this goes. I have got seven flavors here I'll be reviewing tonight, and they'll be posted throughout the week. Um, the first flavor we've got is Allison Vapeland's 15 Foot Falls. Allison Vapeland. I don't know if I ever did a review of them or not. I cannot remember. Um, and I don't really want to look it up at the moment. I'm going to focus on this. So, a 15 foot falls. I don't know why I got this at all. I, I must have something must have slipped out of my mind. First, quick shout out to Nick Connect. You might have seen him comment on a few things. If you're in New Mexico Vapor, you might have seen him on the New Mexico Vapors Alliance page. He's a good friend of mine and he bought me three balls of Allison Vapeland. So, massive shout out to him. Um, I'll be reviewing all three tonight and they'll be posted throughout the week. But, epic shout to him. He asked me what flavors I wanted. I told him what I wanted and for some reason I slipped and I picked 15 foot falls. Now why is that a slip? Why did I mess up? I mentioned this before some of you might have missed it but I have a weird thing going on with the graham cracker. For some reason, I don't know why, but when I have graham cracker it always tastes somewhat like vomit. It's like taking a magnet to a TV. It just totally throws off my palate. I can't taste much after it. It's totally weird to me, but I still picked this flavor. Way to go. Um, let's see, from the Allison Vapor on the website, this flavor tastes like fire roasted marshmallows with a bit of coconut frosting, two honey sweet graham crackers, and a touch of lightly toast, toasty tobacco. I keep saying toasted. A vape that reminds us to follow our heart. Now, to touch back on the graham cracker thing, I can have Baymore's graham cracker, and I don't know why. Um, that's not a biased thing, I assure you. Uh, Baymore, yeah. get out of here. Baymore, <laughs> it seems to be the only brand so far I can have their graham cracker, and I'm not sure what that is. Um, maybe Allison Vapeland will be the new thing. Maybe I can have graham cracker with them. I don't know. Let's find out. Um, real quick, I have a whole new setup. Um, since I did the last sort of view, which feels like years ago, um, and in all reality it's been maybe two months. Black and copper stingray, but we took the black off it because the black on the 18650 stingrays are just terribly cheap. Um, so yeah, we took it all off. You kind of see on the drip tip there's some black left on it, uh, and it just scratches right off. It's coming off on time. And a copper TOBH with added air holes. So I've got 12 air holes in this sucker. Um, that IGO W was not cutting it. It just was not doing the job. So that's my setup with a 0.2 ohm dual micro coil, approximately 0.2. And we're going to go ahead and drip us some 15 foot falls. And I will tell you how it tastes, some of the flavor profiles, etc, etc. You get the idea. I totally forgot my format when I did this last. Um, hopefully I remember it. Here we go. With a fresh battery, by the way. All right. So the clouds obviously don't have an issue. Once again, that's mostly set up. In fact, that's almost all set up.
My juice is at a 50-50 blend, and I still get kicking clouds. Um, when it comes to a hit on this, the hit is... Now it's pretty good. Um, the hit on this is a 3 out of 5, and it's all in the head. Maybe a touch of a throat kick, nothing in the chest, and this is a light-headed, buzzy flavor. Wow. When it comes to taste and taste strength, the taste itself is, I guess, a bit of the fiery, roasty, campfire type taste. Cause it's almost like a s'more with the graham cracker and the marshmallow, whatnot. What was that again? Marshmallows, coconut frosting, and honey graham crackers. Um, it's a bit like that. My problem with this flavor is that. I honestly don't taste it much. It's a very subtle flavor. Taste drink on this is a 4 out of 10. Which is weird because I love Alice and Vape Land. I've had, I think, 6 of their, no, 5 of their flavors maybe. And I like most of them. This is the one exception. Um, mainly because I can't really taste it. There's not a whole lot going on here. In my opinion. Like I said, this is all subjective. But this flavor to me doesn't really pop. There's not a lot to it. This would be a great all-day vape, if you're, especially if you don't like your stronger flavors. If you prefer your more subtle, undertone flavors, this is your one. But for me, I'm not big on it. I just, it, I can't really taste it. It's not even the, the graham cracker. If there's graham cracker in this and it's not throwing me off, I just can't taste it. I'm honestly tasting a little bit more of my last one than this one. Um, if I can still different, differentiate the two, differentiate the two, um, this still is more on the subtle side, without a doubt. Um, Final rating on uh, 15 Foot Fall of Mouth and Vape Land. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. I want to give it higher. I love Alice and Vape Land, but I can't justify a higher rating with this lack of taste strength. If they up the flavors in this, I probably would like it more, because um, oddly enough, it's not diluting my my taste buds at all. It's just not strong enough for me to taste. But that's my review of Alice and Vape Land's 15 Foot Falls. Stay tuned because in a few days I should have a video up of something else. I've got six more bottles sitting right next to me, so I will start my next review now, and it'll be up in a few days. Thanks for watching. Keep vaping. Happy vaping and stay safe. That was a weird little pause we just had there.